Hey everyone, in this video, I will discuss how we can create a partition table with the help of AWS Glue. So, uh, we'll create partition table from a simple CSV file containing a million records uh, with the help of uh, AWS Glue's custom transform. So basically uh, that file has a column called date and uh, we'll convert that date into years, month and day and uh, we'll create a partition table on the basis of year, month and day and we'll store the partition results uh, in S3 and we'll also create a glue catalog table from that. So those who don't know, uh, a partition table is uh, a kind of segmented table uh, where each segment is known as a partitions. So when you query a partition table, it only look for that particular partition rather than looking into the whole table, which uh, of course uh, saves the cost and the compute. In data engineering, uh, partition tables are highly recommended. In this video, we'll learn how to create partition table from a simple CSV file stored in S3 bucket. Uh, so let's get started. So I'll divide this video uh, in four parts. Uh, first, we'll read the uh, data source from S3. The next part, uh, we'll do a apply mapping and uh, we'll do a data preview to have a look at the data. The next step, we'll add a custom transformation. And the final step, we'll be writing the data in S3 and we'll be creating a partition table on top of that in Glue Data Catalog. Okay, so uh, here I'm in the glue console. So we'll first create a new glue job. So in order to do that, uh, we can click on the jobs and it will take us to a uh, new tab. And here let's choose the first option, visual with a source and target. I'll hit on create. I'll remove all the nodes uh, previously present. Uh, we'll build it from the scratch. So I'll first add the source and I'll choose Amazon S3 and I'll choose the S3 location. I'll browse for my S3 bucket. Okay, so this is my uh, file that I'll be working with. So I'll just choose that file inside my S3 bucket and I'll click on choose. So in the data format, I'll choose CSV. And uh, everything else, I'll uh, click as default and I'll click on info schema so that you know it will face the schema uh, itself uh, from the S3 bucket. The next part, I'll be adding one apply mapping in order to uh, check and modify the column names. So you can see uh, the moment I add the apply mapping to the node, it automatically face the schema from the uh, CSV file that is present. So let's say I want to rename this name to GUID. I can do it here. And if I go to output schema, the output would be GUID. So now let's uh, verify uh, if uh, we have faced the correct file or not. So to do that, uh, we'll go to data preview. But before doing that, I'll go to job data and, uh, and I will choose a name for it. Uh, let's say create partition. I'll choose the name as create partition and I'll choose this IM role and I'll hit and save. Now I'll come back to the visuals and I'll click on data preview and I'll click on start data preview session. The same IM rule will be populated here and uh, we'll just hit confirm. So I'll skip this video till this data preview part is completed. Okay, so now the data preview has been completed. If you see, it's previewing five out of six columns. You can click on preview five of six fields and I can see all your fields. Let's say I want only these two fields. I'll hit and confirm and uh, it will show me all this field. Data we expected, uh, we are able to fetch it. So uh, our data preview is completed. So uh, as we are more interested in the date column, uh, we'll first uh, have a look at the date field. So if you see, it is in this format. First we have the months, then we have the day and next we have the year. So in the next step, we'll, we'll be adding the custom transform and we'll extract uh, the year, then the, then the day and the month from it and we'll create the partition table on the basis of that. Okay, so now I'll go to actions and I'll hit on custom transform. So uh, here it's a function that we need to define in order to uh, make the custom transform work. 
So first we'll import uh, the function that we need in order to do our transformation and we'll set uh, this park property which is time passer policy equals legacy in order to uh, make our functions work. In the next step uh, we'll try to convert uh, this data frame into spark data frame uh, because all the uh, transformation that uh, we'll be doing will be in spark okay so uh, next we'll be extracting the uh, year from this data frame from the uh, date column so I'll add the code so here I've created a new data frame known as RTA filtered one and I'm adding a new column as year and uh, I'm using this function date format so I'll import that function as well so this is the function that I have imported from uh, functions so here I'm using this date format and uh, I'm converting this date uh, which is in string to timestamp first and from this timestamp I'm trying to extract the year which is in yyyy format similarly we'll extract the month and the day as well okay so I now I've added uh, three data frames and uh, if you see uh, all three are with same codes it's just the month year and day that are different and the format that we are specifying here is different so in the next step uh, we need to convert uh, the final data frame which is df filter 3 back into dy dynamic frame because glue only understand dynamic frame not the spark data frame so i'll convert that uh, back into uh, dynamic frame so i'll add the code for this so dyf filtered is my dynamic frame name and dynamic frame that from df is the function and this is our final spark data frame and uh, the glue context and the description so we have our uh, dynamic frame created uh, with year month and day uh, which are three additional columns that we added now finally we need to uh, uh, return it to a dynamic frame collection uh, which will be catching in the next node so I'll add the code for this so which is return dynamic frame collection custom transform 0 so dyf filtered is uh, our dynamic frame and the glue context so this will be our uh, code uh, for the custom transform so i'll save this the next step will be going to data preview and we'll start a new data preview session so it says uh, syntactical error so uh, I see I've added one extra braces over here uh, which I'll remove and I'll hit and save okay so now we'll go to uh, data preview and we'll start a new data preview session I'll choose the IAM role and I'll hit and confirm so now if you see it's showing nine fields and uh, if I select these three fields uh, specifically along with the date if you see uh, now the day month and year has been extracted from this particular column so and uh, this is uh, what our goal is for uh, the custom transformation to extract year month and uh, day column so the next part uh, will be adding our target and uh, we'll be writing the data in s3 Okay, so I'll go to target and I'll choose uh, the target as uh, imagine s3 and I'll choose the format as parquet you can choose whatever you like and I'll choose the compression as snappy and here I'll choose my s3 uh, target location okay so I have specified my s3 location over here and now I'll choose create table in the data catalog and subsequent runs update the schema and add partitions so I'll choose the database as default and I'll choose the table name as uh, my table partition so in the next step I'll be adding all the partition keys uh, 
uh, here we are not able to see the partition keys so I'll simply go to custom transform and I'll simply go to output schema and I'll choose use data preview schema so that you know it will add the year month and day column so next I'll again go to the target and I'll now hit an partition key so this time we'll be able to see uh, the partition columns so I'll first choose year and next I'll choose month next I'll choose day so I've added all the parameters over here and uh, now it's throwing an error that parent node from custom transform is a collection but uh, S3 uh, doesn't accept a collection uh, it's because we are returning a dynamic frame collection here so we need to add uh, one more actions into our uh, visuals which will be select from collection so I'll add select from collection to the visuals and I'll go to node properties and uh, in the node parents I'll choose custom transform and uh, again I'll go to s3 and uh, I'll go to node properties and I'll choose apply mapping uh, not this one we'll choose select from collection okay so now uh, this one looks good and uh, we see green tick uh, in all our nodes so now let's save the job and I'll uh, hit run so let's go to the run tab I'll skip this video till the job run is completed okay so the job run has now been completed it took 50 seconds so now we'll go to the s3 bucket and uh, if you see we have the data here but uh, it is actually not partition uh, which we wanted so we'll come back to our glue studio and uh, see what the problem is so if I go to visuals if I scroll down here uh, when we uh, choose uh, this option creating a new table and, and subsequent runs update the schema somehow the partitions get discarded but uh, we can add them again and we can rerun, rerun our job so I'll simply add the partition keys and I'll hit and save and I'll re-trigger the job and I'll also delete these files from S3 as well so that uh, we'll have the fresh new files over here so yeah so now all the files uh, from the S3 bucket has been deleted I'll come back to glue studio and I'll go to runs so the job is running and I'll skip this video till the job completes okay so this time the job took a bit longer and it took 5 minutes and 30 seconds and uh, the job has now been succeeded so let's now go to the same S3 location and uh, I'll just refresh it so if you see uh, now we have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 partitions has been created so if I click on one of the partitions if you see uh, the following months partition has also been created if I click on one of them you'll see the day wise partition which also created so if I click on one of them you will see the data in there so if I select one of the data and I'll go to actions I'll select query with s3 select and I'll choose the output as CSV and I'll run this query you see you are able to see the data over here so for this particular date uh, for this particular file it only got two records and we are able to see them using s3 select so in the next part uh, we'll be seeing if it is able to create uh, the table that we specified which is my table partition in glue data catalog or not so for that we'll go to aws glue console and we'll go to databases and I'll choose default and if you see the my table partition database has been created over here 
so I'll click on that if you see the database has been created and it has three partitions year month and day so if I select in partitions it will show all the partitions that the table has so uh, this is the way uh, how we can uh, convert our uh, a simple CSV file into a partition table and here it is uh, based on parquet uh, and the compression type is snappy so thank you for watching this video uh, if you find this video helpful uh, please uh, hit like and uh, if you have any suggestions you can put them in comments thank you